welcome to September's Roundup. As always, I am not alone. Joining me for this month's Roundup is Gael, the Vice President of the Data Science Club. Gael, you're welcome. Thank you, Natasha. Please introduce yourself to our viewers and share some of the highlights of September. As mentioned, I am the Vice President of the Data Science Club, a member of the Women in Tech Club, and the Academics and Research Ministry and the Communications Ministry. I am so glad to be joining you here today. To start us off, at the beginning of this month, some CMU Africa students attended the Deep Learning in Daba Conference in Accra, Ghana. The Deep Learning in Daba Conference is an annual meeting of the African and AI community where they come together for a week of learning, research, ideation, exchange, and debate around the state of the art in machine learning. This year, I was privileged to attend the Deep Learning in Daba Conference in Accra, Ghana. It was a week of learning through workshops, talks, and connecting with peers and experts from the AI industry. As a highlight, I also got the opportunity to represent my colleagues in a research project we did in AI in healthcare under the supervision of Professor Ahmed Biabani. In brief, we developed an AI-based mobile application that can help people to predict the risks of having non-communicable diseases, and we won a poster prize. It was an amazing experience, and I deeply appreciate Carnegie Mellon University Africa for the support it always gives us to go out there and showcase our research projects. Next up, CMU Africa students, alumni and faculty attended and presented some of their research projects at the IEEE Africa in Kenya. This conference featured world-class plenary speakers, major technical symposiums, industry and academic panels, workshops, tutorials, and invited tracks on emerging technologies, all under the theme, Advancing Technology in Africa to its presence on the global stage. This month, CMU Africa staff and faculty came together for a family barbecue event. This event was filled with exhilarating games, lively dancing, and delicious food, fostering a deeper sense of community. Next up is the IoT Club. For their first activity of the semester, the IoT Club organized a Raspberry Pi workshop. This workshop was an opportunity for students to kickstart their journey in IoT and gain practical skills with Raspberry Pi. So I listened to participation in an uh, IoT Club session that we designed an um, environmental monitoring system by using Raspberry Pi. We used temperature and the humidity sensor to track the change of the environment data that were then stored on the ThingSpeak IoT platform for evaluation. Our goal was to create a monitoring system that can track and graphically represent the change of the environment data in real time. We also had a Solid Minds open house day on campus. On this day, we got to learn about Solid Minds and the services they offer to the CMU Africa community. We also had the opportunity to participate in a trauma release exercise. I'm a clinical psychologist. I'm also the clinical director of Solid Mind. I also manage the wellness center at CMU. So the event we had at CMU, the uh, CMU Wellness Center Open House, was an opportunity to bring the service closer to students. So we wanted to give them the opportunity to know that the service exists for them, that we are there to support them, but also to reduce the stigma around the service in general. So we had different activities. Some of them were the screening, so we're screening for depression, anxiety, we're doing the personality test, we're assessing many beliefs and behaviors. We also had some uh, trauma and tension releasing exercise, and also we had some uh, testimonies of students, real student real stories, uh, of how students found our services helpful. And lastly, we had some self-help tools on different mental health issues. So I can see that the impact this event had on students, first of all, we wanted to target the whole community for them to understand that we exist, that the services are there to support them. So I think we have achieved that. 
We also had an amazing uh, session on trauma and tension releasing exercise. This was also a way to, to help students release the tension and the stress. So we are happy that students liked uh, the session on theory or trauma releasing exercise. So it was um, a way to help students to take a break from the stressful you know, activities they have at school. But also we have, uh, we think that the other impact is that students were more aware of themselves, so they know more their personality, they know if they have a problem with anxiety and uh, depression, and they can reach out to us for help. And of course, we always expect to have more bookings when we have this the event like that, because students know that it, we are there, and then we have already started to have more students reaching out to us as a result of the event. And finally, to end the month in style, the French club hosted an introduction meeting. This meeting was an opportunity for the club leaders to introduce the club and its activities to the new members on campus. It was also an opportunity for the French speakers and enthusiasts to meet, interact and have fun. Le club français a été fondé avec un but bien précis, qui est de réunir les, les étudiants euh, qui partagent un amour profond de la langue française ainsi que d'enseigner à ceux qui souhaitent d'améliorer leur connaissance de la langue française. Nous faisons cela à travers diverses activités comme euh, euh, des jeux. Nous proposons des jeux, nous proposons une soirée cinéma. Là, on projette des films françaises, euh, des classes françaises euh, et des événements qui, qui donnent une expérience exceptionnelle de la culture française. Je ne peux pas finir sans vous inviter à rejoindre le club français là où vous serez exposé à des activités amusantes, intéressantes. Venez tous et laissez-vous emporter par une aventure linguistique et culturelle. Merci. Well folks, that's it for the highlights of September. But before we conclude, we have some good news. Gael, what's the good news? Well, the good news is applications to CMU Africa are now open. Are you passionate about solving problems using technology? Then apply for a master's in information technology, electrical and computer engineering, or engineering artificial intelligence. Definitely, applications are open until December 15th. Make sure you get all the required documents ready, submit before the deadline, and start your journey to becoming the next African tech leader and innovator. With that, folks, we conclude our monthly roundup. Gael, it's been a pleasure co-hosting with you. Thank you, the pleasure was all mine. And to stay up to date with what's happening here at CMU Africa, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on all our social media platforms.